In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to create a new event or a new meeting on my calendar. First thing you want to do is go to Add New Event. Okay, and before I do anything, I typically go here and determine which calendar I want to put it on. If you're running multiple calendars, you'll need to do that. This one here, we're going to stick on the events calendar. So this will be a new event. Now, the format I use for this, and I'll show you why in a minute, is I'll go with the title, My New Event. Or let's call it, okay. And for us, we'll go call this an open discussion, OD. And we're going to make this a 2 p.m. And I'll put all that back down here, and there's a reason for that. Now, you'll, you'll see in just a minute. Well, the 2 p.m. you don't need to put down there. And typically, I go ahead and expand what OD means. And we'll go and give it a meeting location. Okay, and this meeting here, we're going to run it Monday through Friday. You got various options here. So let's uh, find a calendar here. And I generally, I'll, when I set one up, I just, for ease of purpose, I'll just set it up on the first Monday of the month that I happen to be in it, being a new meeting and all. So you just find where you want it, first Monday. And we'll make it 2 p.m. And I'm going to hide the end time. That way I don't have to worry about setting the time. You don't have to worry about all this right here. So the, the end user won't see an end time. If you want to put an end time, you, you set the date and the end time. Uh, for adding a new event, for the most part on this counter, we're going to ignore this part. But if it was a single event that lasted over, say, three days of Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you click here. And add each occurrence. Let's uh, say that would be you know, Monday, and add one for Tuesday, add one for Wednesday if that's the only time, and then does not recur. Now, down here, you have various options. Let me explain what they are. Days is the same as daily, uh, Monday through Sunday. Days, weekdays only, is Monday through Friday. Weeks is the same as weekly. Most of the events on this calendar are set up. On weeks or weekly uh, just simply because even though a lot of them have the same name they're different type of means that may be an open meeting they may be a closed meeting that may be a big book study or they run at, at a different time so I pretty much most of there's a there's a couple that run on the days or or uh, weekdays only but most of them are set up as weeks now if you have a, a a meeting and, and most of the ones on the events calendar are set up this way months by day uh, actually be months by day first third Monday you know first Thursday whatever you would use months by day here and of course you can set up months by day if it fell on this a certain day number like the 24th example here for it fell on the third of each month months by day if it falls on a day like if it falls on the second Monday of each month or the third Wednesday of each month and of course annually if you want to set it up where it's running once a year this one here we're going to set it and of course if it's only a one-time occurrence you just leave it it does not recur but we're going to set this one up here to run daily Monday through Sunday and as you notice here we have you can choose preset locations I have the uh, locations of all the meetings in the database you'll see I wrote the word map next to each one of them that is because oh, let me do this I'll always do that
when you click on one of these it puts the link right here and the word map right there it makes it instantly the person looking at it will know they can click that to get a link to a map if you did not put the word map there it would just have the, the plaza building you're not really too sure what that links for but put the word map there everybody knows it's for a map so that's why I put it like that but because this is going to be a new location we're going to go ahead and copy this location to this database so we're going to call it what, what do we call it the place code in the right place now this regions box is very important there's on our districts map uh, districts calendars on this website we filter by regions to pull up the information so you either have district 13 district 21 district 22 always put the district in so you can get it to display where it needs to be now it's also important that you or, uh, right district exactly the way I show you because if it's if it's done any other way it won't work okay so starting with a capital D and this one here is district 21 and no space between the uh, name or the word district and 21 okay uh, if you wanted to set up a, a completely different district, you could set it up with a space if you want and then understand that all the remaining meetings that you put in to use that district, it just needs to be typed exactly the same way. I just happen to set it up this way. This initial zoom could be a neighborhood, small city, large city, greater metro, state, and region. That's what will show up on the Google map. Well, is uh, I just leave it at neighborhood because a person could go there if they need a bigger map map they can expand it out and need a smaller map they can contract it in that's about as small as they'll really want to use those neighborhood so and here just leave this uh, box checked it says that this event recurs on the fifth day of the week move it back one week so on months that doesn't have uh, if it were to be it just keeps it from trying to pick out five weeks on a four week month and uh, our meetings, they run even on holidays. So just leave that unchecked. If you have a meeting that's set up that won't run, that will actually not be on a holiday, you can check that box and it won't display on the calendar. So we're going to save this event. We'll go back here and we're going to refresh this calendar. This is the events calendar. We know that because of the category key down here that says events. And you'll notice my new event is running Monday through Friday. Okay. And if you'll notice when we go to the District 21 map, My new event showing up at 2 p.m. <clears throat> but if someone were to go look at weekly, say the weeks, you would show, see my new event. You'll notice this meet. I set the icon for the AA area meetings with the people. The events calendar shows this right here. And you'll see it right there as well, running straight across. And see how this pulls up on the district calendar? It will pull up both the area AA meetings. And the events calendar right there and there so that's all as a result of putting district 21 into the regions area on the when you're adding a new event and that's all there is to add a new event